welcome to computer minute and today I want to give you guys tutorial on how to effectively organize your pictures or images in your computer okay uh, so I want to by start by saying that obviously there are you know ways how you can you know just organize pictures or, or, or have a mess in your computer and I've seen it many many times because years ago I used to uh, once a while um, you know uh, help other people whenever they have like a virus or you know their computer used to be effective they would ask me uh, to fix their computer and then and then before I would uh, put a fresh um, operating system on their computer um, they would ask me to save all of the images uh, to external drive as a backup and then I would first you know transfer some images they would have it on a desktop and then I would find some images on their you know my pictures folder and then some pictures were in totally random directory so some people really have them all over and then other times um, you know uh, they'll, they'll just open like I seen um, uh, people take a memory card put it in a, in a reader and simply just drag file that's called DCIM right on the desktop okay so if you have a file DCIM and then you're trying to find your birthday pictures and then you have a couple of these files. The next one, they'll try to drag something like 100 EOS 5D, right? And then you'll have these files. And do they say anything about the content, the pictures that are inside? Of course not. You know, and then once in a while, they'll add another file, something like 002, 002 pics, and, and, and all the same, right? So this, you know, this method is definitely, uh, is, uh, is, is gonna, it's is not organize and then whenever you need to find something you know good luck with that okay so um, here's the method that I use I find it very very effective you first need uh, to decide directory where you're gonna store your pictures let's say uh, I'm gonna go to my users and then I'm gonna pick pictures okay that's gonna be my starting point and inside this folder you know and so instead of um, you can you can start um, put in years first you know I'm gonna start with year 2010 right and so that's gonna be my folder and so my second folder is gonna be year 2011 and then I'm gonna go ahead and put all the way to um, 2017 and in my computer obviously I start with um, um, much earlier than 2010 okay so let's just say you decide to um, reorganize your pictures and you decide to uh, rename this to birthday and this one you decide to uh, name it like swimming or something swimming at lake which is this which is good uh, it's definitely much better but then again if you know a couple years later on you decide uh, you have more pictures and there's another birthday right so there's birthday two and then there's birthday uh, for I'm just gonna call it for John, right? Uh, just a random name. Uh, you know, you you have all these pictures. It's it's still not that easy to to find it. Yes, it's not bad, but uh, it, it's still gonna be a uh, kind of hard because well, what about this birthday? When was it? Whose birthday was it? And, and so on. So um, first, you know, you can ob obviously just take 2017 and put this birthday there, and you can. And you can put these pigs there and swimming at the lake, right? And look now, you know, I can just open and kind of see what's inside, what kind of pictures I have inside 2017, which is not too bad, okay? But what I do actually, I actually, in my um, year 2017, I actually create uh, 12 more folders. And let me do this right now. Okay, so I just completed um, creating uh, additional month inside, you know, year 2017. And you say, well, why do I want to be that specific? Why would I want to put, uh, you know, break and, and store my images by certain month? And it's very simple. For example, uh, recently I wanted to find the pictures from a family picture that we shot on the Christmas last year, like a Christmas card. And and so when I when I need that, you know, I don't have to go 
you know, gallery by gallery and looking for the word Christmas or anything. I simply will open, you know, 16, 2016. Right now, you know, go to uh, 12, 2016 and boom, I'm going to get to my pictures pretty much instantly. Or let's just say uh, I, I need to look for the pictures, you know, my kids going to school for the first time. Let's just say I had some kind of uh, photo shoot or I went to school and take some pictures, right? Um, you know, I know that they went to school either August or September, it depends, you know, uh, where your school starts and then I would be going directly to those folders, right? So we have a lot of holidays or we have a vacation and I think a lot of us remember, hey, I went to a certain vacation, you know, last year or two, three years ago and I think we, uh, you know, we went when as soon as the kids got out of school so it was you know June so you guys remember that so you know that way you don't have to it you know it doesn't take forever to find images you can pretty much kind of figure out I think it was year either 2014 or 15 right so you open this year go to you know six or you know expand this folder and boom right away you get to your picture so this is a pretty quick way and this is a very organized way and once you store you know images like this for a while you really will get hang of it and you'll remember I mean you'll remember where the pictures are because if you're gonna be um, you know going through the menu and uh, read uh, you know where is what located you'll be like oh I remember that photo shoot I think it was just a six month ago or a year ago does it make sense okay so that's number one so the first thing like I told you uh, you know I, I break everything by a year and then I break everything by a month now you don't have to do it this is what works for me you might have a better way to do it you know and as long as you you can get to your pictures uh, you know uh, fairly easily it's good but I don't stop here now once I have you know everything by a month and a year I actually take it a little bit further let me show you what, what I do next so what I do next is I actually um, try to describe an event in a very simple way so anybody can read it can understand right away uh, what the pictures are about uh, for example I like to use a uh, person name or people who are in the pictures and then the second thing is location and then the third thing is a uh, place or event for example let's start with this uh, let's say that my my son was playing soccer right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna call him in this particular example John right I can say John soccer right final game right and that's it or next time I can say something like um, I'm gonna call my daughter let's see uh, what name Jessica I'm gonna say Jessica Jessica first day at school right so you know and then let me co do a couple more let's say um, a photo shoot of a car I'm gonna say BMW car images Nikon film okay and and so look so if somebody if if, if I'm looking for some pictures look if I will open this up this particular folder anybody uh, by reading at this uh, names you can exactly specifically know what it's all about look it says BMW car images Nikon film so you know it's images of the car or you can say Jessica you know first day school location school uh, John soccer game right or let me just show one more to be specific uh, who family you know what uh, or where uh, let's just say it's, uh, Florida vacation trip right simple so who who where you know when you can say you know vacation trip or you can put year 2017 right uh, so 2017 you know family Florida vacation trip I mean very simple you know exactly when you know who went there where and, and what happened uh, so kind of you know who went event and where or you don't have to put 2017 because it is under this directory anyway does it make sense now let me go back and just talk a little bit about the car um, so I said BMW car images Nikon film why would I put the word Nikon film and it's simply because you know this is something that worked for me a long time ago because back in 2000 when the new digital cameras came out I was using two cameras and I was using Nikon professional DSLR 
camera and it was giving me this beautiful beautiful images and then I was using the new kind of uh, starting a digital camera so honestly Nikon images is what I'm looking for so many times so if I for example want to I share some images of my family uh, most likely I will you know search uh, for images that were taken you know with this camera because it had this beautiful skin tones and so you know um, you know sometimes on that particular year I would use at the end Nikon film at the end so for example I'm gonna say something like my son okay his name is John in this example John uh, one year old first steps Nikon film okay and so what it means is next time when I search right all I have to search for is Nikon film wait a little bit and look here's my you know here's my uh, pictures that were taken with Nikon film doesn't make sense and that's what like for example would work for me so most likely um, you know um, for you know if you want to make it general so for example you have a family member that, that you know uh, wants to find certain images you definitely want to make it simple uh, and, and you know even that for example let's just say you know you're just taking the pictures around your house you're not going anywhere you know nothing too exciting so you can just say that you know family pictures around house that's it or in the backyard and and that's already kind of it's a pretty big clue and and that's awesome that's what works so um, as you can see instead of calling you know birthday I mean my question was like oh well, whose birthday if you have a family you know is that your birthday is that your wife's birthday is that your kids birthday the question when and where was it you know what I mean so um, definitely um, you know take your time and expand it expand it say John is birthday you know uh, or you can say Johnny's look when 2010 you know 2010 birthday in city let's just call it Texas right uh, because it was a special trip so at home okay boom so you know it's Johnny you know when was it and you know where was it and hey that's so much better right so that's it um so I think um you know this is how I organize you know uh, my images I organize them first by year and then by a month and then I describe my folders and it works pretty awesome so if I you know if I'm looking for pictures of you know uh, my son you know when he was one let's just say he's 10 right now and it's 2017 I'll go ahead and open you know 2007 folder right away right and I'm gonna go there immediately because I'm looking for the picture of my son when he was one year old so boom I'm gonna go to 2007 year or you know let's just say I want a picture of my son you know every time he turned it was his birthday again it's so simple right you just you just go open and go directly to his birthday you know uh, let's just say his birthday is in January boom you you open the year go to you know January and and then look for those pictures in in every month okay and if you want to make a little collage uh, you can see how he grew over the years so simple right you go to a year 2007 zero one find the picture there that would be like when he was infant right and then you go 2008 uh, you know 2009 2010 and so on and and so this is this is the way that it works for me uh, it's been flawless for many many years and I love this system okay so I think you know for now this is all I'm going to uh, share with you um, I, I can actually share a few more trips uh, tips um, I apologize let's say uh, you open the card and all the pictures it's just like numbers right uh, 5d 38 68 and so on so uh, do I rename the files yes I do and so first what I do is I would look at look at when um, you know when did I take the pictures and in this uh, example a particular looks like there is a couple photo shoots there's some pictures were taken on 29th uh, of September some on 23rd just a couple of them and then some on, on Toria so I will actually you know go back and and go under 2009 and make a folder right make a folder uh, it depends um, you know if I'm shooting professionally I will actually um, go something like 2017 
you know, uh, 2017, 09, 23, uh, and then I can, you know, couples, first name, last name, photo shoot. If I do it family, it's not that important to get a day. I will just describe what is it about, like a, a family or, you know, picture of this or that. Uh, and, and that's it. And uh, so let's just say John. Uh, you know, for now, I'll just say John, and then I'll put all of the, you know, September 29 pictures here, right? Uh, and then I'll take pictures. It's probably another different photo shoot, September 20th. They're gonna be in a different folder. It was a different theme, and I'll describe it. Okay, I'll describe it, and that's it. And that's it. And if and if and if you shoot professionally, and you probably already have a system, but let's just say you get in the photography and you wanna do it professionally. Well, if you shoot raw then here's what I do uh, I you know I create a file name it has dates and everything right and then here I would actually make two folders one would be ORG stands for original and another one would be you know picked images and third one would be final images so first what I do I put everything inside original images and then I go through them and I pick the one I want to edit and they're going to picked and then from picked um, you know using Photoshop or Lightroom depending on uh, you know what do you like to use you edit them and you export them to final so there's three steps original chosen images and then final images so this is if you shoot like raw or professional uh, if you shoot in a raw and, and you need to process them um, you, you should probably do it this way I mean this is how I do it and then I, I seen how other uh, photographers do it they you know everybody kind of have some of the similar system but I seen people saying yeah well my system is a little bit better or different so you know like I said this is not maybe ideal system for me it is but you know if, if you have an excellent system great and if you don't you know I hope you can pick up some points um, and then organize your picture because you're really gonna enjoy them uh, looking at them you know I mean because when I go through my pictures you know uh, you know I open the year and I know exactly when to expect hey like I'll open like 2014 I already know that my kids were like three years younger or four years younger and then and, and I'm like wow I wonder how they looked four years ago and so that's it and I open up and it's it's awesome it's awesome and so many times I would open up another year you know just reading through this events and it's like a calendar it's like event I'm like wow so like Florida vacation unbelievable I feel like we only went to Florida last year but it's been four years unbelievable you know what I mean so this this system works it works awesome I mean it's 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 a good system uh, for me to organize pictures so you guys if you guys enjoy this um, you know please put a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what do you guys think okay Thank you so much for watching. Take care.